Something extraordinary is happening at the very edge of the observable universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful window into time, is staring deeper than any eye has ever seen. And what it's finding doesn't fit the rules. Galaxies that shouldn't exist, structures that form too early, light that seems to come from before the Big Bang. At first, scientists thought it must be an error. Maybe the light was distorted. Maybe the data was misread, but the more Webb looked, the stranger it became. And now, a Nobel Prize winning physicist has made a stunning claim that these discoveries may be hints of another universe that existed before ours. Could it be that the Big Bang wasn't the beginning, but merely the last chapter in an eternal cosmic cycle? Let's travel to the edge of time and see what Webb has truly uncovered. It started with a faint glimmer, a yellowish blotch in one of Webb's earliest deep field images. Astronomers first thought it was a trick of light, a smudge, maybe a lensing artifact. But when Webb's spectrograph locked onto it, everything changed. That smudge turned out to be Jade's GS Z14-0, a galaxy so far away that its light began its journey when the universe was only 290 million years old. To put that into perspective, if the universe were a human life, Webb was staring at its first heartbeat. Yet, the shock wasn't its distance, it was its brightness. This galaxy was far too luminous, far too evolved, almost as if billions of stars had already formed, burned and aged impossibly fast. This discovery, published in Nature Astronomy, forced cosmologists to question the most sacred foundation of modern physics, the Big Bang timeline. If galaxies like this existed so early, then something about our model of the universe was deeply wrong. For decades, the story seemed simple. After the Big Bang, the universe was hot, dark and chaotic. For hundreds of millions of years, there were no stars, no galaxies, only a swirling soup of hydrogen and helium, cooling slowly as space stretched. Eventually, gravity began its patient work coaxing gas into knots. First, stars ignited, blazing ultraviolet light that carved through cosmic fog. Gradually, galaxies assembled, growing larger through mergers and starbirths. That was the standard picture. But Webb, with its infrared vision, has begun to unravel that tale. Across its deep fields, scientists found not one, but hundreds of surprisingly massive galaxies, existing just 200 to 400 million years after the supposed beginning. These galaxies weren't dim and tentative, they were bright, organized, chemically rich. Shockingly so, some appear to contain enough stars to rival the Milky Way, though they formed when the universe was less than 3% of its current age. At the heart of modern cosmology lies one story. 13.8 billion years ago, everything, space, time, matter burst forth from a singularity and expanded outward. But the Webb discoveries have shaken that elegant picture. Because if galaxies existed earlier than our models allow, then perhaps time itself did not begin with the Big Bang. Perhaps the Big Bang was not the beginning at all, but a transition. This is where Sir Roger Penrose enters the frame. Penrose, Nobel laureate and one of the boldest thinkers in theoretical physics, has long argued that the Big Bang was not the origin of everything, but the end of something else. Penrose's idea is called the Conformal Cyclic Cosmology CCC. It is both daring and strangely poetic. CCC proposes that our universe is only one in an infinite sequences of universes, each universe lives, fades, and gives rise to the next, an endless cycle of rebirth. In the unimaginably distant future, our universe will grow cold and dark, stars will burn out, black holes will slowly evaporate into nothingness, leaking their energy into space. What remains is a cosmos stripped of all matter, only light and radiation. At that moment, Penrose argues, time itself ceases to matter. Without clocks, without mass to measure change, the dying universe becomes scaleless and timeless. And in that strange state, the end of one cosmos becomes indistinguishable from the beginning of another. From that silence, a new Big Bang flares, not from nothing, but from the dissolution of everything. 
Penrose and his collaborators claim to see subtle hawking points in the cosmic microwave background, CMB, small circular patches of higher energy that could be the fading signatures of black holes from a previous universe. While controversial and debated, the idea is simple. Imprints of a cosmos before ours may still linger faintly in the sky. Webb itself doesn't study the CMB. It's tuned for infrared light, not microwaves. But its deep imaging and spectroscopy could test whether the anomalies in early galaxies align with theories of cyclical universes. Cycles of cosmic death and rebirth are not new. Ancient mythologies from Hindu cosmology to Greek philosophy spoke of eternal returns, of worlds dying and being born again. What makes Penrose's vision unique is how it blends relativity and quantum mechanics. He shows mathematically that as the universe expands infinitely, photons become timeless and scale-free. At that scale, the end of one universe can look exactly like the beginning of the next. Consider CEERS 93316, once thought to shatter distant records with a redshift near 16. Early excitement suggested it might date to just 240 million years after the Big Bang, a discovery that would have completely redefined cosmic dawn. For weeks, headlines hailed it as the earliest galaxy ever seen, a sign that the universe built complexity almost instantly. But later, Careful spectroscopy revised it to Z4.9, a much closer, dust-rich galaxy masquerading as something older. This was not fraud, but a reminder of the challenges of peering so far back. When light travels for billions of years, dust, distance, and distortion all conspire to trick our instruments. Even so, the correction doesn't erase the bigger pattern. Over and over, Webb finds galaxies far too bright and structured for their supposed age. It's as if the cosmos skipped chapters, writing galaxies into existence long before the story should have allowed, and the puzzle refuses to go away. NASA scientists remain cautious. They remind us that Webb is young, its flood of data immense, and its interpretations complex. Some of these supposed anomalies might turn out to be illusions, dusty galaxies masquerading as distant ones, or lensing effects magnifying faint objects until they look like giants. But Webb keeps delivering shocks. Every new survey, whether in the Jade's Field, Sears Field, or Cosmic Dawn programs, adds more massive galaxies to the list, lurking in epochs where none should yet exist. It's not a one-off, it's a trend. And the more Webb peers into these early chapters, the stranger the story becomes. Even when it looks into what should be the dark ages of the cosmos, where no starlight should shine, it still finds luminous galaxies, complex structures, and traces of organization. Instead of silence, Webb hears a chorus of light. Light that feels less like the first cry of creation, and more like the echo of something remembered. The universe, it seems, is reluctant to let go of its past. One of the strangest threads in this mystery ties back to dark energy, the invisible force driving the universe's expansion faster and faster. Ever since its discovery in the late 1990s, dark energy has remained one of physics' greatest riddles, an unknown making up nearly 70% of the cosmos. Some physicists now speculate, what if dark energy is not random at all, but a residue from a prior universe's collapse? In that scenario, Every cosmos inherits not just laws of physics, but the momentum of the one before it, like a baton passed forward in an infinite relay. The metaphor is striking, universes expanding like waves on a shore, each carrying the last's fading energy. If that's true, it could explain why Webb sees galaxies that look too evolved for their age. Perhaps they're not built entirely from scratch, but seeded with echoes of ancient matter and energy fossils of a cosmos long dead that still whispers through ours. If the Big Bang was not the beginning, then time is not 13.8 billion years old. It is eternal. If universes come in cycles, then ours is just one chapter in an infinite story. And in that view, our future is already written. One day, trillions of years from now, our cosmos will fade. And when it dissolves, its light may ignite a new Big Bang. 
If Penrose is right, then we're not only children of Stardust, we are the echoes of universes that lived before. So, what has Webb truly revealed? Early galaxies, cosmic oddities, or the fingerprints of eternity itself? One thing is certain. The deeper Webb looks, the more the universe stops behaving like something with a beginning and starts looking like something that has always been. As we stare into that glowing darkness, into impossible light from the edge of time, we may not just be looking backwards, we may be looking into a memory older than creation itself. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to illuminate our origins. Instead, it may be uncovering our ancestry, evidence that every atom, every photon, may be part of an eternal cycle of universes. So, what do you think? Are we the first spark of existence, or just the latest flicker in a flame that has been burned forever? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the cosmos.